ESG means environmental, social and governance and they are the cornerstones of sustainability. ESG is also a framework for companies to be sustainable. Today we have a closer look at the E, environmental. That includes for example the air we breathe, the water we drink or the mountains we hike. But what has it to do with the financial industry? Why and how nature can be seen as an asset? That's a good question for Marcus, who is member of the Group Sustainability Council. So what's behind it? This is a really very good question, but if we think about it, we use nature every day. Like the air, we breathe the air, we walk on the soil, but we don't value it. So for us it has not a value, although it should have a value, because nature is an inevitable part, an important part for our daily activity, for our economic activity. If we do not value it, we will overuse it, what we are right now already doing, and this bears a huge risk. Do you have an example for me? <laughs> yes, look at this. This gentle giant is just one example of a huge group of gentle giants in our oceans. These mammals, these whales, have an average estimated value of 2 million US dollars, a great whale, and the entire population above 1 trillion, and this is a conservative estimation by scientists. 2 million US dollars per whale? How can you determine a price for a whale? This is based on the various activities and the activities a whale is, is doing in an ocean. His activity like CO2 sequestration and absorption, but also bring the nutrition within the ocean from the lower part to the upper part, from the one part to the other part. So these activities, to put it simple, are really one important ingredient for making such an estimation. So you're a real whale expert. No, certainly not. I'm not a whale expert. I'm an ordinary economist. But to understand and assess the topic of nature as an asset further and in detail, we have to discuss this with experts, with scientists. And we've done this also in this specific subject, how you can assess the value of a whale. And this is research done by scientists and not by me. But for me, it's very important to listen to those scientists, otherwise I wouldn't be able to factor nature into our economic discussion and assessment. So pricing nature solves the problem? Pricing nature is one part of the story. The other part of the story is understanding the risk of the degradation and decline of nature of our environment. So you know we are going to the COP26. Is there anything you want to know, down? Yes, certainly. <laughs> So my wish or what I wanted to note down is the question, what should we have done at COP26? So when we meet in future, we should ask ourselves what our achievements have been. And this means what we should have done this year in Glasgow. What do you think of the idea to see nature as an asset? Write it in the comments.